welcome to week four, which is incredibly exciting. It's a lovely day. Uh, not much has happened this week, but lots happening next week, including they are going to start building the second floor. The steels are coming on Monday, which are going to be going here, 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 and they're going to rip all this out. All the walls are coming out. Busy week next week, and they're working Thursday and Friday as well, even though it's a bank holiday, to uh, catch up because it's been a bit quiet waiting for the steels this week. So that's exciting. I'm very excited. Now we have something potentially coming that we haven't used before. My husband's not happy with the kitchen setup. I'm absolutely fine with it, but he's like, I don't want to live like this for three months. So we have something we've looked into. We may get one, we may not. I'll let you know. But that is the current state. And I'm very excited about the steels coming and watching them lift a 1.2 tonne steel up. So I'll keep posted when they start doing that. Good morning. No sign of the builders or the steels yet. But today looks like it's going to be a lovely day. I am stood at the back door. Looking out. This would be glass. Probably glass top and bottom, I suppose. Looking out. Um, so hopefully they'll be here soon. So I'm quite excited about getting this all taken down. And it'll also be propped up. And the steel's arriving. So if I get an update, I'll let you know. But very excited about filling in this gap with a brand new bedroom and then this part of the bedroom is going to be brought forward so we get a bedroom extension which is great with a big window there and the reason we did that was because the pitch of the roof it couldn't have gone like that and it had to go like that so we're doing that so it's wednesday no it's not it's tuesday and the builders have been back today, getting ready for steel tomorrow. So this is the first look at what they've been doing. Okay, this is definitely some of the old kitchen. Oh, blimey. Okay, let me go around here. Wow. Okay, they have definitely taken a lot out. Look at all that. So they've chiseled away there. That's the corner of the granny annex. So the steel is eight and a half meters long. It's going to go all the way across here. So they've definitely been chiseling out. It's been the worst weather in the world today. It's been sunny one minute and then absolutely chucking it down the next. So here is kind of the back of the house. All ready for the steels. Wow. You can see the rain today. And uh, the, the roof's been held up by those, so very exciting. So all ready for stills tomorrow, ish. <laughs> Here's the old bit of the house with that bit of spray foam. It's obviously gone in there at some point. That's all out. Beautiful plaster hall, still plastered. You can hear the sheep next door. And now yeah, look at that. So there's my bedroom. Oh God. If it's windy upstairs, I'll let you know. Uh, our good old trusty ladder. This ladder was in the garage and it's been used so much. And then we'll see it again to get out of there. So this is quite a big view. So there we go. Gives you an idea of the size. The skill's gonna run, still is gonna run from there to that point. So that'll hold up the top of the house and then they'll start building straight onto the steel, second bedroom up there. And then I'd imagine there's other bits going along here, but yeah, it's all ready. So I will update you tomorrow. Hopefully the steel will arrive.
in Sainsbury's as I'm going in to get stuff for the Jubilee party and it is absolutely dead. The high streets, all the shops are shut because it's about holiday. Uh, and I don't know what day of the week it is. It's Friday, but it feels like a Saturday. Yeah, all the shops are shut. Bizarre. So I'm going to go in and get my fruit for my pavlovas and a few extra bits. We need salt and basil and mint for the pims. So I'll take you in to say into it and show you if they're anything good. I am looking for a red top. So I'll see if there are any in there. What's the biggest ones we've got? Those ones? That's got some food on Good afternoon. It is Saturday. It's the Jubilee weekend, so it's been a rather busy weekend. Uh, just recovering from the Jubilee party, which is great fun. But I'm in Steel's still there. It's huge. Um, I don't know how many people it would take to lift it. I think maybe 30 people. It weighs 1.2 tonnes, so that's currently sat there. So the goats are next door. Some goats. I really need to get to my laurels because they've got lots of weeds growing in them, but they're growing well. I need to get in there as well and feed them, and I need to sort that out because that's just blown up there. We'll sort that out in a minute. Right, I'm coming around the side of the house. I'm going to plant up my tomatoes this afternoon. I've got my compost. And I'm going to move my greenhouse because they're going to come around here with the steel. So yesterday, this happened, which is very nice. This is the side of the house, the new extension. So this does look a bit peculiar here. However, the new extension we're going to do at the side is going to be here. So then that will come across here like that because obviously it's not matching completely, but the new extension is going to come across here. So it will do. So that's the gap for the bifolds. You can see there. So you can see how high it is. Not, not too high, but it's still high. It's going to have to eventually, again, when the extension is here, this will be a decked area like this. So we may put some steps here for now. Um, and I've also, let's go around here and have a look. I'm going to let the chickens out in a minute for a little bit of a walkabout. We've done a little bit more brickwork along there, but now what we're waiting for is this crane to lift the steel into place. The steel is going to run from there to there. So they've put these posts in as well. These were delivered as well. There's a post there and a post there, and they're loosely in, I think because they want to get it matched up and then they tighten them a bit more. And then there's two more steels here, which I believe go that way. That way, I think. I'm not sure where the other one goes. I'm not sure. And then down here, they have concreted over Poppy. So we have scratched that in, so she's well and truly embalmed in there now. So next week, the hot tub is going to push down here which and come to here, which is going to make a huge difference because then we'll see this area a little bit better because we want to try and plan out what we're going to do with the levels. Because as you can see, I'm stood down here by the chickens and this quite it goes up quite a bit so basically I, I don't want to step out onto steps i want to step out onto a raised patio area so it flows out and then we'll have some steps down to a secondary area but i don't know the steps so we want a big area there so you can see the height of the kitchen door there 
so that's the stage we're at so hopefully it won't be too long till the crane guy comes because then they can really crack on because they want to they wanted to have got that in and then next week they were going to build up the second story room there and then it was going to be a case of putting the roof on so let's just hope this guy can come pretty soon to get the world's biggest steel in and that'll be great the chickens got the eggs Three eggs in there. Get those out in a minute. They're waiting for their meal worms. I give them the afternoon. Uh, oh my word, look! There's two eggs. Can you see? They've laid two eggs in there. Amazing. Well done, ladies. Actually, where is the cockerel? Oh god. Where's the cockerel? Where's he gone? <laughs> Cockerel's not actually in here at the moment. That's a little bit worrying. Let me go around and see if he's having a sit down. This is not good news, is it? Oh, he's in there. He must have nipped in the second I opened the door. You scared me then, Bruce. I didn't know where you'd gone. Yeah, so Bruce is there. He's, right. he's just trying to trick me. I hope the door will probably run off. There you are, Bruce. There he goes. Worried me then. I wonder where you go on. There he is, my beautiful boy. There he is. Yeah, so I'm gonna let the chickens out for a bit of a stroll. We'll come out there, have a good old stretch around the garden. So that's the update. So hopefully, beginning of the week, Saturday today, we will crack on with getting that steel in. So I'll update you when it comes. I'm now stood on the swim spa. The last thing that was used, that had a crane, so I say, is going to go directly over the house where my husband, my mother, two dogs and a cat are. Yeah, this is a little bit scary. Oh, it's spinning. Oh my God. We don't actually want that aerial. He's let go. He's let go of the string. He's let go of the string. Oh, I don't like it. He's going a bit fast. Oh my. I think I'm actually going to move. I'm actually going to move. <laughs> I'm getting down off. And moving through the back of the garden. It's directly above my house. It's literally. Yeah, chicken and pumpkin. If that now goes, oh, the strings aren't long enough. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, my God, I honestly don't think I've ever been so scared because to me it looks like it's leaning forward. <laughs> Turn out the 
going to the garden. I still don't feel like I'm far enough back. Okay. Just gonna. Yeah, right at the back of the garden. Wow. Okay. It's over the top of the house now. Yeah, Cockle's getting involved. It's over the house now. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I can get a bit nearer now. strange if it doesn't look that big now. <laughs>
Well, good afternoon. It is Monday afternoon and a lot's happened today. You can see here, the hot tub has moved and it very neatly went down here. It's now popping well and truly secure under there. I think it went reasonably straight. It may have come over a little bit, but it's now moved. Chickens are being very loud today. So that was good, that moved. And then they've started to break this out a little bit and level it across a little bit. And then you can see the steel, which was a little bit scary, but it's in. Tomorrow morning at nine o'clock, the scaffolding is coming so they can start building up. So they're gonna build up here on the sides and then they're gonna build up here, roof. And then they said later on in the week, that wall will come out. They won't do that yet. Um, so they've just been getting ready for everything coming tomorrow, but it's all in. Really good crank up, it came straight out. So there it is. It looks really small now it's in. Um, it's 1.3 tonnes, the crane driver said. So yeah, nine o'clock tomorrow, scaffolding across there, and then we'll start with all the bricks. Good afternoon. It is Tuesday afternoon and we have had scaffolding arrive today which went up at about 11 o'clock this morning they whizzed out really quick so it goes all the way around the side I've got my uh, rigger boots on today it's very muddy and then it goes all the way around here Amazing. So tomorrow, if the weather's okay, they're going to build up all across the side here, across here, obviously gap for a window because our bedroom's going to be coming out that way, and then across here, which is the new fourth bedroom. And then they've already today, because the upstairs bathroom window is open, I've cut the bit for the joists. So my upstairs loo, which is there, is completely covered. Uh, so the joists are going to go that way, then I put them down then put the board across um, and then next week, so this, this will be the end of the week, I take this wall down, they're going to start doing the roof, which is amazing, so the, it's quite impressive the scaffolding. So I've put the bricks directly on top of the big steel. And this is where we're at, so it's um, very interesting stage. So I'm just up in my bedroom. I thought I'd give you a, a view from out here. So I think actually it would have been really nice to have had a balcony. <laughs> we we got rid of the balcony, so uh, this is the area. So the bricks go directly onto that. And so that will be the new, so it's going all over here, will be the new window in my bedroom. So we're gaining a chunk of space all the way along, which is great. So we'll be further forward a bit for the view. Hopefully we'll get these trees trimmed soon. Um, oh, we even started there. So we've got some little bricks just along the corner. He's going to do the side first, go straight up. A lot of it is actually going to be blocks because you're not going to see it because this is going to be the roof. So it's going to come right to the bottom of the window. So up to about here will be blocks. That'll be super quick. So all the blocks have been carried up so they can start. The wood has all arrived for the putting the floors and the roof. They are cracking on today. I'll wait to show you around the back. So it's all been happening today. I'm going to take you around for my final, final vlog. Okay. It's been a lovely day, which is very good. It's nice and sunny. Glad I moved my greenhouse because it would have been in the way. So we're going to go around here. I will actually take you inside and show you from the inside because see much from here but if I go over here they have put in ready for the floor tomorrow they are going to continue 
doing that. I'm actually going to do lots of the drainage tomorrow, a bit of a boring job, but that is Louis's new bedroom. That's the floor. So this wall will actually come to about there. There'll be double doors coming through. This will come over a bit because the kitchen will start here. So that's the beams going across there. And then up here, I'm going to quickly take down the garden. Right, here is the new wall, can you see? They have built the wall all the way across there, all the way across and down the side. I can't get onto the hot tub because I can't get near it to climb up but just about to see up there. I'm going to take you upstairs because I can't see a thing here but that's what they're going to need tomorrow. Let me take you upstairs. Okay, so I'm up here and so, drop. so the wall's up here and then I'm going to step back in my room actually because this is a little bit scary and there is the wall, the new wall so you can see how much we're going to gain in this bedroom and then it'll stop at the end and then that's the new bedroom and the window I think is going to be just a tiny bit more so as we look out it's one um, 1.8 meter wide window you can't make it sort of too low because the pitch of the roof and because they're cottage style windows don't that. but that'll be my bedroom window view so as soon as baby birds have gone we're going to trim all this and we're still working on getting that bit so this is the current area upstairs so that's uh amazing tomorrow they're going to continue i'm going to step out here again very bravely and put my foot on there If I was brave I'd go up the ladder, but I'm not. <laughs> so this is exactly my view I'm going to have out my kitchen window, which is not too bad. I'm going to go down and sort that out. Driving the chickens absolutely mad, their roof is flapping and he's reattaching. It's quite windy today. So I'm going to end the vlog there. And I think it's been an amazing week with the steels and the scaffolding going up and everything. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next week. So thank you for watching. I'll see, speak to you very, very soon.